Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then welcome. I am so happy to have you here. My name is Rachel and I am a disruptor in the accounting industry. I'm disrupting what it means to be an accountant, what it feels like to have an accountant, and showing you the behind the scenes of what running an accountancy practice looks like. In today's video, I'm going to be talking all about the Zero Advisor certification. So Zero is one of the industry leaders when it comes to accounting software. Small and medium-sized business owners use it to track their finances, process their payroll, file their VAT returns, and keep that financial rhythm within their companies. By earning the Zero certification, you can demonstrate not only your core bookkeeping and accountancy skills, but also build and prove your competency within Zero. If you're an accounting student and you're seeking a job in finance, then the certification can enhance your job opportunities. It will add third-party validation of your skills, benchmark you against other candidates, and boost your CV in a very competitive job market. If you own your own practice and you are completing the Xero certification, this can land you a free listing on the Xero partner directory, which can create leads for your business. So what are the requirements in order to become a Xero certified accountant? So there aren't any specific requirements for earning the certification. If you are just starting out on Xero, then you can use the Xero training to help you learn all of the different skills needed and to prepare for the exam. If you're just starting out on Xero, then you can use the Xero training to help learn all about the different skills needed and to prepare you for the tests. If you're more well-versed, you can hop in and just take and answer the bite-sized questions at the bottom of each topic. So what skills will you learn by taking the Xero certification? So the Xero certification covers a broad range of components and completing the initial Xero setup, setup and reconciliation of bank accounts, how to manage contacts, how to use inventory for products and services, how to manage contacts in Xero, managing customer quotes and invoices, managing supplier bills, customizing and using reports, tracking projects, managing expense claims, managing fixed assets, reviewing and adjusting transactions, and then also how to manage tasks with Xero. So is the Xero certification worth it? The answer is definitely yes. So lots of companies use Xero as their accounting software and by earning the Xero certification, you are validating your knowledge and you can actually boost your career or boost the growth of your own practice. Understanding Xero at this level means that you can really get the most out of the software and use it to maximize the results for your clients or for your company. So let's get on to how to complete your Xero certification. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna start from Google because sometimes people do say that they struggle to actually get to the right place within the certification. And so I'm just gonna Google Zero Advisor Certification and then I am just gonna skip the ad at the top and then go straight to Zero Central. Uh, you will need to log in to register to actually be able to view the courses and take the test, but I'm just gonna show you around. And so within the Xero certification, it breaks everything down into really small bite-sized chunks. So as you can see, there's 12 different sections that we just need to go through all the way from the initial setup tasks, all the way down to how to manage your own practice. There are a couple of different ways of actually sitting the assessment. And so if you are new to Xero, you have two options. You can complete the online courses, which again, break it down bit by bit, and you can hop in and hop out of the training sessions. And then there are little quizzes and questions that actually ask you to verify your knowledge and understanding as you go. Alternatively, you can actually attend a live webinar, which will teach you all of the bits that this certification teaches you, but in real time in a cohort with somebody that you can ask. Lots and lots of people, I'd say the most popular option is to actually do it self-study, just because you can learn a lot along the way and you can actually really get stuck into things. The option for people who actually are already very experienced with Xero is to hop straight in and just do the Fast Track Xero Advisor certification, which will take an hour. So if you're gonna take the step-by-step -step approach, I'm just gonna hop in and show you what this looks like. So as you can see, this is broken down into topics, but then if I head into a topic, it then breaks it down into subtopics. So it's really, really nice and you can see exactly how that time will be broken down. And so as you can see, it really is straightforward. And so we hop in, we hop out, we answer questions as we go, or if actually you are pretty experienced with Xero, you can just jump to the Fast Track Xero Advisor certification. Okay, so that was the Xero Advisor certification explained. 
As I mentioned earlier, this is one of the best ways to showcase yourself as an applicant for jobs. Maybe you don't have any actual experience in accounting, but you're training and you want to land a job. Being zero certified is a big tick when people are reviewing CVs. Or it could be that actually as a practice owner, you want to showcase yourself and you want to benchmark yourself against other practices. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you found the most useful. The very, very, very best way to say thank you and to support me as a content creator is to hit the subscribe button. And that way you get notified every single time I release a juicy video just like this one. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you again very soon.